Hey everyone, welcome back to another Becca moment. Today I wanted to talk about what happens to us when we are, you know, start a new business or get remotivated in our business or we decide to lose weight or um, take a new class or just something that we're excited about, maybe write a book or, you know, we just we just feel there's something lit inside of us. We know that we can do something and we start heading toward our dreams. And after a while, all of a sudden that enthusiasm starts to wane and fear starts to creep in. That little itty bitty icky committee just starts screaming, who are you? Why do you think that you could do this? Um, you think the world really needs you? Do you think you really have, um, you can make a difference? And then you start sometimes to get that from your friends and family who will who might say to you, you know, aren't you happy with your life? Aren't you grateful for what you have? Isn't what you have enough? Shouldn't shouldn't you settle for that? Shouldn't you know what's wrong with you? Well, what if the the rose said, "Who am I to be bold and and beautiful and and fragrant and colorful? Who am I?" Maybe perhaps I should should just be happy, just be grateful that I have leaves. Where would our world be without roses? So what does a rose know that we don't know? What does it know that keeps it from this to this? It knows its purpose. It's, it knows why it was created. What can you learn from this? You know, God said to him, everything is spiritual. Everything teaches us something, that if we really look, we will see the significance and the message. So I believe the rose is telling us, inside of you is a rose. You're not supposed to settle and just be grateful for leaves when you can be this. And that's what I'm here to tell you on a daily basis, is that you are meant for something magnificent. You have a voice. People want your products. They want your services. They want your caring. They want your insight. They want your book. They want your song. They want whatever it is that you feel motivated and excited about developing and, and sharing. So here's your challenge. Your challenge is to believe that you're supposed to bloom. In closing, I would like to read you um, a quote that you're probably already familiar with. It says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. So we start to ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some, it's in everyone. And that means you. And here's what I really love. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others the permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Listen to the beauty and the message of the rose. Balloon. Go for your magnificence. Cook on that until we meet here again for another Becca moment.